daughter went to Mrs. Darling's house to take her mother's belongings, and the following conversation took place. It was 4.30 in the evening. I reached Mrs. Darling's house. I talked with her. She still remembers me. I was very exhausted after the walk. The place and the surroundings were very familiar. I started looking around and thought about my past, and then she opened the door. I wanted to talk to her, but she told that it wasn't a convenient time. I felt like someone was staring at me right through the window. She walks away with disappointment and she starts thinking about her past. I was home for a few days. She told me about Mrs. Darling. I had never heard of her but apparently she was an old acquaintance of my mother whom she hadn't seen for years. She had suddenly turned up and renewed their contact. Since then she had come regularly. Every time she leaves here, she takes something home with her. After the liberation, I was absolutely not interested in all that stone stuff, and naturally, I was also rather afraid of it. Afraid of being confronted with things that had belonged to a connection that had no longer existed, which were hidden away in cupboards and boxes and waited in vain until they were put back in their place again, which had endured all those years because they were things. But gradually, everything became more normal again. Bread was getting to be a lighter color. There was a bed you could sleep in unthreatened. A room with a view you were most used to glancing at each day. And at one day, I noticed I was curious about all the possessions that must be at the address. I wanted to see them, touch, remember. After her first visit in vain to Mrs. Darling's house, she decides to try a second time. I knocked at the door and a girl about 15 opens the door. She said that her mom is doing an errand, but I said I would wait for her. She asked me to sit down and offered me a cup of tea. I was horrified. I was in a room I knew and did not know. I found myself in the midst of things I did want to see again, but which oppressed me in this strange atmosphere because of the tasteless way everything was arranged, because of the ugly furniture or the muggy smell that hung there. I, the antique reminded me about the past.
it got me that you will not miss something unless it's lost. Now I remember my mother's love and how I miss it.